a very good morning to you in the previous video we were discussing about violation of rights by the government and in that uh, we were discussing this point that is preventive detention law a few of these points we have already discussed in the previous video so in continuation to that um, article 4 of the international convent on civil and political right says that rights uh, can only be limited in time of public emergency it means uh, such kind of laws preventive detention laws should be implemented in times of emergency only when uh, there is a threat to the life of the nation and not in the peace time detainees were liberty to torture discriminatory treatment and probability of misuse is very high in these kind of cases uh, in these kind of uh, laws preventive detention laws because in that uh, we are only arresting that person the police is arresting the army is arresting that person only on the basis of certain information and uh, that to the detention period is very long which is uh, 2 months or more than that also in some cases so that uh, poses more threat for the torture the constitution of india has permitted the government to pass preventive detention law against its own citizens in the name of national security and maintenance of public order as per entry 9 of list 1 and entry 3 of list 3 of the constitution so there are many examples of misuse of such powers by the state in indian history it means uh, the rights of the people of the country the citizens of the india are uh, on risk are uh, put on risk on the name of national security and many a times we have seen such cases where uh, on the name of national security the rights are wrongly violated by the government officials there are chances that due to lack of time and facts the right of an innocent have been violated because uh, all the cases the judgments everything depends upon the information which has been retrieved by the courts so uh, maybe because of lack of time or uh, lack of correct information many a times the innocents are uh, are affected their rights are violated next uh, reason of violation by the government is corruption which is a major problem in our country state violate the right to economic self determination if it transfers in a corrupt manner the national wealth to the select power holders the national wealth is supposed to be spent on everybody equally but uh, the corrupt officials because of their self interest they transfer that national wealth to certain power holders who happen to be influential in society either because of their monetary powers or because of their political powers at a particular point of time this corruption leads to denial of right to freely use exploit and dispose of national wealth for individual and collective development of the society the national resources are meant for the collective development of the society and because of corruption these sources these resources are not used for Uh, collective development rather they are used for the development of specific groups or specific individuals in 1986 un declared right to development as the fundamental right so according to that everybody every citizen has a right to get development corruption as an institutionalized process interferes with people struggle to realize their right to development and no doubt about it that the right to development is uh, violated because of corruption the right uh, to a society free of corruption is in itself a basic human right because all of us deserve a society which is free from corruption and which is uh, unbiased so that there could be an equitable treatment of all human beings and there should be an equitable distribution of wealth so because of all uh, this all other human rights like right to life dignity equality everything depend upon this right and because of this corruption or corruption related practices uh, are all rights are violated in direct or indirect manner then the next is police atrocity which is very common and all of us have witnessed these kind of cases every now and then atrocity i have already told once in a class uh, that atrocity is the uh, is the ill treatment by the police people right so how police atrocities leads to violation of rights first is encounter deaths police generally used to take custody of uh, individuals or groups 
whom they think uh, they are criminals or they have certain information which proves their crime uh, they torture them and even many times they murder them but then those deaths are shown as encounter deaths and this is violation of their right to life custodial conditions which are given to the prisoners are also uh, in a way violation to their fundamental rights that is below standard health services are given to them in prisons poor hygiene and cleanliness is maintained in the prisons lack of psychiatric services which are required by the criminal uh, mindset so that they can be brought back to a normal life no protocol for those who uh, are at risk of self harm some people have suicidal tendencies or after committing certain crimes uh, people get frustrated or depressed and because of that many suicides happen in the prisons so there is no protocol to uh, stop or uh, to protect such people then uh, less medical and prison staff so their uh, their requirements the facilities everything is not taken care of properly no regular assessment of prisoners by a medical practitioner which should be a regular practice so that their health can be checked at a regular interval whether they are having some kind of medical issues or not then uh, there is lack of proper procedure for exchange of information they are not even uh, communicated with the prisoners need to be communicated so that their problems their issues or their uh, the information could be exchanged with them in inappropriate security procedures for prisoners even one prisoner harms the other one also these are certain type of cases or some police officers or uh, some other uh, prison staff they are uh, involved in such practices so in this scenario there is no appropriate security procedures uh, which can safeguard the life of prisoners and then lack of safety measure for female prisoners then the last one is torture and custodial deaths many time police use very brutal methods uh, which is commonly known as third degree torture uh, to get uh, some confession from the people but sometimes these brutal methods are so torturous that they are so much unbearable and that lead to the death of that uh, person who has been arrested and uh, that is against the right to life then the next one is failure of government system obviously if government system fails that is a failure to protect the rights of human beings and if the rights are not protected obviously they are easily violated so uh, failure of, to ensure minimum wages sufficient for a decent living uh, living there is minimum wages act but the government has to ensure that everybody gets the minimum wages which has been prescribed in the law but if the government fails in that obviously people will get low wages also then failure to prevent starvation it is the duty of the government that they should take care uh, of those people of those people or those groups who are being affected because of starvation so at least in a country every human being has such a right that they uh, they can survive uh, at least their basic requirement of food and shelter are being met by the government then the failure to ensure access to information and services uh, related to health if the health related information and services are not provided to all human beings in a country all citizens in a country it is the failure of the government and due to that uh, the fundamental rights of citizens are being violated failure to provide equal opportunity of education to children with disability if the child is disabled then uh, he or she also has equal right to get education so equal opportunity should be given to them and that too of a quality education by the government and if government fails that is the violation of their right failure to prevent employer from discriminating in recruitment it is the duty of the government to prevent any kind of discrimination in recruitment generally it has been seen at many places and especially in the private sector there are certain biases on the basis of gender or disability of a person or the race or hiv status etc so because of these discriminations people do not get their right to equality then is failure to prohibit public and private entities from contaminating food and water it is our right to have safe uh, food and water but if public uh, officials or the government officials fail in their duty to prevent that contamination obviously it is violation of our rights failure to provide for an adequate working environment in the public and private sector 
it is our fundamental right that we get a good and healthy environment in the public as well as in the private sector organizations so that our rights uh, could be saved then failure to provide equal status to minority minority should get equal status in a country and it is the duty of government and if government fails in that duty their rights are violated failure to provide social assistance to people people who are uh, due to certain circumstances are not able to earn their livelihood they should be supported by the government and if government fails in that duty then the um, lives of the individuals will be affected and their rights will be violated then failure to provide basic facilities to the citizen for their living like housing water electricity these basic facilities should be provided by the government and if government fails in that it is the violation of our rights so uh, this was uh, all about the violation by the government now we'll see violation of rights by various groups or individuals groups we can uh, take the example of corporations the organizations where people work so they violate the rights of individuals by these uh, means first is destruction of livelihood of people by use of capital intensive technique we all know capital intensive technique means usage of more and more machinery so in that case labor will be reduced and people will uh, lose their jobs then environmental destruction their actions may lead to destruction of environment because they are creating pollution they are acquiring agricultural land for industrial purposes and all this is responsible for the degradation of the environment which should be clean and hygienic for each and every human being so in that sense they are uh, violating the rights of human being sometimes private organization damage uh, welfare of society for, for profit motive because their primary aim is to earn profit so they just focus on earning profit at any cost so in that scenario many a times they damage the welfare of the society and by that rights of human beings are violated then they provide uh, poor working conditions for workers which is a fundamental right for them to get a good and healthy environment to work and uh, then lastly lower wages and facilities for the worker the wages uh, have been decided by the government through the minimum wages act and the facilities which should be given to them have been mentioned in the various uh, labor laws but many employers uh, have been uh, reported who are not providing the required wages or facilities to the workers and because of that their rights have been violated now how uh, groups and individuals um, other than that uh, groups or it may be individual who is responsible for violation of the rights of an individual these could be first is abuse abuse means improper usage or treatment of an individual that could be a physical or a verbal abuse verbal means when uh, a person abuses uh, a person through verbal attack use of abusive language misbehavior or verbal aggression and physical abuse is the physical injury or any physical damage then homicide homicide occurs when a person purposefully knowingly recklessly recklessly uh, or negligently cause the death of another means because of uh, an individual the uh, death of another person has been caused this is violation of right to life this could be done by a group or by an individual then discrimination if a group or or if an individual discriminate an individual from others on the basis of gender race religion caste income social status or any other parameter that would be the violation of right to equality then extra judicial killing, killing in many villages in india honor killing is done honor killing is uh, the decision to kill an individual uh, because he or she has not followed the uh, social norms so that order of killing is not given by the judiciary system and it is completely illegal and these kind of killings are done in our country in today's time also so this is again um, violation of right to life and then forced marriages if forcefully somebody is got married to somebody then child marriage then dowry deaths human trafficking buying and selling of human beings and lastly the child labor all these are uh, various kinds of violation which has been done by different groups or individuals in our society so that's all about this uh, chapter violation of rights in the next uh, chapter we will discuss about some other uh, kind of violations of human rights till then have a good day